Hello and welcome to this section of the tutorial where we're going to continue working with vectors. Specifically, we'll talk about how to add and subtract vectors and how to multiply a vector by a scalar. So first let's go ahead and create a quick vector. Let's say a is equal to a vector and we'll call this one, you know, 5, 6, negative 2. We'll close this guy off. And of course we had enter MATLAB repeats the vector back to us and says okay it's stored in variable A. Let's create a new vector. We'll call this one vector B and we'll say that it's equal to you know uh, negative 2, uh, 0, uh, 3 or something like this. And we'll close this guy off and we'll hit enter and so we have vector A and B both defined. If you whatever, for whatever reason clear the screen you'll always have it over on the right hand side where you can see what the values of the vectors actually are. Now to add and subtract vectors it's just like you would imagine a plus B now what's going to happen is when you hit enter here MATLAB is going to go ahead and look at the two vectors that we have and begin to add them up element by element that is what that is what vector addition really is is whenever you have uh, vectors here like this what it's going to do is go element by element so 5 plus negative 2 is 3 6 plus 0 is 6 and negative 2 uh, plus 3 is positive one. So what's going to happen is it's going to do element by element addition to give you the answer here. Now it stores the answer in the generic variable answer because we didn't assign anything. But I could do z is equal to a, you know, plus b or something like this, and then the value of the addition would be stored in the the vector z, which is now vector because we've stored a vector in it. And then you can see the value of z contains what we have here. Now. The same thing happens when you, let me clear the screen here, the same thing happens when you do something like a minus b. You're going to go element by element. So it's 5 uh, minus a negative 2 is going to give you 7. And, and it does that for each element. So in order to add and subtract vectors, the vectors must have exactly the same size. They have to have the same number of elements. And to show you that, if I create a, another vector, I'm going to call it bogus, and I just put you know two elements in this guy. I've created the vector uh, bogus like this. Now if I do A minus bogus, MATLAB's going to complain. It's going to say matrix dimensions must agree. So this is just sort of a catch-all, basically letting you know, hey, you can't do that subtraction. It's not mathematically appropriate because I can subtract the first two elements, but I don't even have a third element of bogus um, here at all. If I wanted to change that, if I realized, oh, boy, I made a mistake there, so I was 2, 4, 4. Okay, now everything agrees. I can do A minus bogus and then it's going to everything's going to work fine. All right? Let me clear the screen there. Um so adding and subtracting vectors are very similar. It basically follows the rules of matrix algebra because what I'm really not saying out loud so much, but I guess I'll go ahead and say it now is these things that we're calling vectors, these lists of numbers, they're really just matrices with one row. I mean, this is column, first column, second column, third column. It just so happens that this matrix we're calling A has just one row. And so when they only have one row, we just call them vectors. But it's just a, it's just a matrix that has one, one row. So in matrices, you have to have the two matrices look identical with as far as their dimensions go before you can add them or subtract them. Um, so the same thing applies here because these are a sort of a subset. So they have to have the same number of elements. Now, if I wanted to multiply something times this vector A that I have here, like a number, if I wanted to say 5 times A, MATLAB totally understands this kind of, this kind of arithmetic. It's going to take 5 and multiply it by every element in vector A. So 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 6 is 30, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, right? If I wanted to do, you know, um, you know, I could even make a, a more complicated expression if I wanted to, 5 minus 25 squared and I want to multiply that by you know a minus b that works out fine too what's going to happen here is MATLAB is going to compute what's the number that's going to be in front of this matrix here or this vector and then it's going to subtract the vectors they have the same dimension so it's going to be able to subtract them and then it's going to multiply what's on the outside times each element of whatever we have arrived at from that subtraction so it's going to do all that stuff for you in an instant and give you the answer the answer should not surprise you that it has three elements because we had a vector here that we subtracted so we have three elements of a minus b when we do a minus b we have three elements right so what's going to happen on the outside here is whatever the result of this is is going to be distributed in for lack of a better word and applied to each one of these elements so addition of vectors 
subtraction of vectors, and multiplication of vectors by a scalar. That's what we're doing here. Are all very straightforward in MATLAB. We're just showing you how it works here. Very simple. Uh, and so what I want to do now is close this section off, follow me on into future sections where we'll start talking about the dot product of vectors, the cross product, and how to do more involved uh, math relations, you know, among different vector quantities.